what is going on everyone nick or catalyst here welcome back to the channel everyone thanks for tuning in as always somehow some way i've managed to get sick two separate times in the past month so that's why this episode has been delayed but today we are going to trudge on through so today we have the first official episode of the How to Not Suck series in Battlefield 5. Of course, the first unofficial episode was the video on how to stay alive longer. If you haven't watched that video yet, definitely go check it out, but I posted a poll as to see which class you all wanted to see first, and it ended up being a pretty close vote, but as you can see by the title of the video, today we're going to be covering the Assault class, and more specifically, we're going to be covering how you can use everything in the class to the best of your ability. So, you can end up up getting furiously teabagged by a frustrated tanker like I am right here. That is the end goal, so hopefully we get you there today. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like on it. Make sure you subscribe if you are new for more great content and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of it. Let's begin. So I would assume that most of you are here because you take a look at the Assault class and you see all these really good guns, but yet, maybe you aren't getting the production out of them that you think you should be getting out of the class, and of course, that's okay, Battlefield 5 is still a relatively new game and a much different game at that much different than the Battlefield games of the past. So, how does that translate to the Assault class? Well, I think that the connotation of what the Assault class is and what it should be is kind of a counterintuitive aura as to how Battlefield 5 plays. In past Battlefields, especially Battlefield 1, the Assault class, or the Engineer class for all of those vets out there, was really your CQC class, the class that dominated at close ranges and was the class that could put out a lot of damage in a short amount of time. And while the latter might still be true, this isn't a class that you want to be playing in close quarters combat with. Can you? Absolutely, but it certainly isn't ideal anymore, so when I see a bunch of assault players running and gunning on the front lines and not lasting very long, and being confused on why they aren't doing so well as they could in Battlefield 1, it's not that hard to see why. First and foremost, I think the most important thing to realize in order to start improving as the Assault class is recognizing that you just can't run around like a chicken with your head cut off anymore with a Sin 60 round uh, magazine Hell Regal and do well in a game like this. You, you will get destroyed, so you need to start making a conscious realization that the Assault class simply isn't that strict CQC class anymore and really is more of a combination of a crowd control and DPS class man. I got it sounding like an RPG setup here, but I'm serious. I would really suggest making a concerted effort to playing the Assault class at a medium range and consciously picking firefights that are within your range, because right now, I think the best weapons in the game are those medium range DMRs, and we're going to be getting into the weapons a little bit today. Not too much, because that would make for a really long video, and I want to keep this video shorter <laughs> so my health uh, doesn't, doesn't start backtracking on me. But back to my point, you just can't play the Assault class in close quarters like you would in previous titles. Another mistake I often see people making is on the other end of the spectrum, and I see players paying, playing too passively and trying to really take advantage of the long distance 3 shot kill range that the Gewehr 43 has. These players are sitting on head glitches on objectives and not being very proactive in finding tanks or really having any interest in wandering out and potentially dying, and I'm not saying there is anything wrong with that and that they aren't playing the game correctly because there is no correct playstyle, but what I am saying is that just like with the players using the Assault class in close quarters, players who are trying to abuse the medium to long range capabilities of the DMRs in the Assault class by sitting on and around an objective they are stifling the potential of the class just as much as the run and gunners. The assault class works best when you find the happy medium between the two, so with that all being said, I really suggest trying to stick to the medium ranges as best as you can. The assault class really can put out a lot of damage, and this should be your go-to class for getting kills when you need them. So I would primarily focus on how you personally can get those kills, which in my opinion, the best way to play the assault class is again at this medium range, kind of a floating slayer kind of playstyle. Sorry guys, I know I'm speaking in competitive terms here, so stick with me. You ideally want to play as some kind of floating slayer because a lot of the weapons in the class lend themselves to that kind of flanky and aggressive playstyle, yet still stay at that medium range. If you think about the weaponry in the class, even the Sturmgewehr, the first five bullets of every time you go full auto on the trigger have minimal spread, so it really lends itself to tap firing at those long ranges. And 
Of course, you have the Gewehr 43 and the Turner SMLE that can really pick off people and really pick them apart on flanks or from head glitches very quickly and then allow you to move on. Not to mention how good the M1A1 Carbine is if you get those headshots. It just really is the right range to play at at the moment. Now, a lot of the intangibles that go with how you approach gunfights is covered in the How to Stay Alive Longer video that I made at... Uh, <coughs> Now, a lot of the intangibles that go with how you approach gunfights is covered in the How to Stay Alive Longer video that I made, and like I said at the beginning, there is a lot of good stuff in that video, and that's not just me self-advertising. If you feel like maybe what exactly you're looking for in this video isn't here and hasn't been covered so far, then I would watch that video because I go extremely in-depth as to how you can do well with all classes in the game, and it certainly applies to the Assault class. I'll leave a link in the description and the end title screen to help you find that video better. Now, as far as the weapons themselves are concerned in the Assault class, we aren't going to get into each weapon specifically here, but I think there really isn't a bad choice when it comes to which weapon to use in the class at the moment. I do think that there is a big group of great to god tier weapons, and then there is a group of just, yeah, and in the group of just, yeah, there is the Seb Splatter. And then the Gewehr 1.5. It's not that they're bad, it's just that there are other weapons in the class that do things so much better than they do. So I would steer away from those two weapons until they uh, become a little bit more viable. For specializations for the weapons, you are going to want to steer clear of any hipfire upgrades, even if it means sacrificing something like the detachable magazine for the Gewehr 43, because there aren't many situations in which you will be needing to hipfire with these assault rifles, even when you think that you will, you probably aren't going to be out an SMG at that range, and I really think that the most important thing for the assault class anyways is being able to take advantage of the strengths of your weapons, which are a at a medium range, instead of trying to fix their weaknesses. For full auto weapons, you are going to want to map your specialization trees on anti-recoil perks almost exclusively. So, uh, receding the horizontal recoil and the vertical recoil can help you win those gunfights on flanks as well as help you win the gunfights against more accurate weapons. For the semi-auto rifles, you are going to want to go down the tree that works with your reload speed or your movement speed. It's usually one or the other, but in some cases it's both, whether it's the detachable magazine for the Turner or a lightened stock and quick aim for the Gewehr 43, you really can't go wrong either way, but increasing movement speed while aiming is huge for being unpredictable in gunfights since most people would elect to stay still to get the most out of the DMRs and you aren't going to need to worry too much about recoil perks for the DMRs anyways. Perks, I I don't know why I'm calling them perks. Is this Call of Duty? Heck no it's not. I, I gotta find something better for that but uh, specializations is a mouthful but Anyway, let's, let's talk about the tanks. Obviously, the secondary objective of the Assault class is to take out tanks, but you can't just run at tanks in this game like you did in Battlefield 1 and get away with it, because let's be honest, you'll get absolutely shredded. So, I would advise you to only attack tanks from behind and from the side if you can, and obviously that's a little bit self-explanatory, but I think it needs to be said anyways. If you have the opportunity to flank that tank, take that chance every time, even if it means a big diversion for you and your squad. Despite what many players think, tanks really are very strong in the game currently as a whole, and if the tanker has a gunner in his tank with him, you don't really stand a chance, and of course you don't know whether he has a gunner or not, so the options really don't seem to be in your favor anyway, so make the smart play even if it's the most time-consuming one. I think most people will run more than one assault in their squad anyways, just because how popular the weapons are in that class. So theoretically, you can take a tank head-on, but again, it's much better to flank the tank instead. If you are able to flank the tank, make sure that you always place your sticky dynamite first before using your Panzerfaust, just so that you can get a lot more front-loaded damage instead of firing your Panzerfaust first and then having to run up on the tank to place dynamite for the final kill. Now, it's important to note that you will start with two rockets and two sticks of dynamite, and once you use those up, you will not be able to resupply those gadgets with ammo packs from support players. You can only replenish gadgets by getting them from the ammo caches around the map, so make sure that if you have the opportunity, whether it be off of spawn or capturing an objective that has ammo caches, 
make sure you go and stock up to get that extra gadget ammo for taking out tanks. And that leads me to the ideal class setup that you want to run for the assault class. Of course, every class comes with two combat roles, and for the assault class, those two roles are the light infantry and the tank buster. With the light infantry role, you get more ammo off of dead bodies, and you also heal more than other combat roles. With the tank buster role, tanks you damage will become marked, and you gain more requisition points off of dead tanks. You are going to want to always run the light infantry combat role, no exceptions. Do not run the tank buster combat role for any reason whatsoever. There really is no point to use it, and that's because you can do everything just as well, if not better, with the light infantry role. You can ping spot tanks for other players when you are taking them out, so you don't need to have the tank be spotted off of damage, and requisition, quite frankly, is not big enough of an incentive to run the tank buster roll ever over a roll that will give you more ammo and more health. So with that being said, what is the best setup for the class at this point? I think the Panzerfaust is a must-run gadget, and I also think the Sticky Dynamite is a must-run gadget as well. However, instead of running a frag grenade or smoke grenade, I would advise you to run the anti-tank bundle grenades so that you have extra firepower for tank hunting. It's a very powerful one-two combination if you have that anti-tank grenade to run as sort of an extra anti-tank gadget when you are out of rockets and aren't in a position to use sticky dynamite. And quite frankly, I don't think that it's worth running a regular grenade over the anti-tank bundle so you have more weapons against infantry because let's face it, the weapons, or at least the rifles, are so strong in this class that you don't need to use a frag grenade. I would actually run a smoke grenade for this class over a frag grenade if you don't want to run the 18 aid because of, uh, of how much cover the smoke grenade gives you for reviving and it could be very useful for smoking out a tank. So at this point, my ultimate class would be the Gewehr 43 with the specializations being quick game, which allows you to ADS 33% faster than strictly the right side of the skill tree to help you with uh, moving in gunfights when you aren't stationary and uh, th they will help you improve your accuracy when posting up with the weapon and those specializations will be custom stock, lightened stock, and barrel bedding and of course as far as sights are concerned I think you should definitely run the medium scope because although the iron sights are good the medium scope really allows you to have the most diversity in dealing with all ranges and and that's about all for the how not to suck guide, or excuse me, the how to not suck guide for the assault class. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, please put them down in the comment section below. I know this was a long video to get through. I know I'm not feeling all that great, but I hope it helps you nonetheless. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, make sure that you drop a like on it as it's greatly appreciated. If you are new here, a subscription would also be greatly appreciated. And for those of you who are subscribed, turn on post notifications so you will never miss an upload. I'm going to be streaming, or at least attempting to be streaming with this sick this live on Twitch as soon as this video goes live and I will be playing for most of the afternoon so make sure you stop by and say hello maybe a get well soon card would be appreciated also uh, after you're done watching this you can find the link to my Twitch in the description as well thank you all so much for watching my name is Nick or Catalyst and I will see you all another time